Sup guys, Fallen Clasher here, bringing you an introduction slash base build for Clash of Clans. And so I'm going to be changing up my base a little bit because this hasn't really been working too well for me. They've been really getting in down like the bottom side, the bottom left hand side. So I'm going to switch it up a little bit. Um, I'm still not going to protect my town hall since I'm farming and I'm only going for elixir and gold and not caring about trophies. So I'm going to move all this over here. And then I'm going to, this is, I'm going to try and protect four of my storages. So right now probably elixir I'm going to protect the most because I have the most of it. So yeah, I'm going to move all these out here so then I have some free space to build and then once I do this you can measure if you're in the center to make sure you're in the center so if you move all these over here and then I put a bunch of buildings that are four by four on the edge like so oh that the lab's not four by four so you wanna so I move these over like this and then once I have enough buildings here So right now, oh wait, I think, I think this is fine. So how many are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So since there are 13 right in the center, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, so right here where this is, if I build out from here and then about like eyeball the center of the side so about right here is where my center point is gonna wanna be yeah so that's good that's a good spot to put my center piece and my center is going to be a mortar I like to guard my mortars a lot cuz mortars are very good and they can stop basically everything in their path. I mean, destroy anything coming their way. Sorry about that. Um, so yeah, in this new update, they did this thing where you can select a row of walls. And so it makes it a lot easier to select and move walls around. And much more efficient and quicker. So yeah, I have my centerpiece is my mortar, and then, or for right now, actually, put it as my town hall just for, just so we can eyeball it. Because the base that I'm looking to make is like, y you first need to put your town hall in the center, so then it gives you a good spot to start, and then you can build out from that because the walls will be off if I don't start my town hall in the center and that wouldn't be good so once I do this then I want to go here and put my mortars around I wanna put my or no actually start with my elixir so put one elixir swords there and then I wanna put a mortar right next to that like so might want to move these walls first oh got it okay then move this row of walls see how fast I just moved those walls that was crazy and then once I get this clear I can put my other elixir storage right here so that's protected pretty well 
and then I'm going to put one of my wizard towers like so and also right now I'm not going to be able to defend very well because my one of my th um wizard towers is upgrading to 6 so that that's going to be great when I get one in 7 days and then I'm upgrading another wizard tower to 5 so in 4 days and 1 hour so I'm just going to go ahead in the background and start uh making this base look really good and I'm going to talk about some new things like the new update if you guys don't really know much about that yet well they added dark elixir troops which you can train in the dark elixir barracks which is right here I think it looks really cool so see you can train these troops in here like the minions and the hog riders and the valkyries I think the Valkyries are a little too expensive. They're a hundred Dark Elixir. These are thirty, and the minions are six. So I think they overpriced those a little bit. And so yeah, the minions they are flying units, and they they do an okay amount of damage. And also they um have an okay a I would say like a moderate to low amount of hit points. Because they have, to be precise, 55 hit points, which is 10 greater than, or 15 greater than a level 5 archer. So that's an okay, and they take up two housing space for your army camps. And then the hog riders, they do jump walls. It's really cool how they jump the walls. And also, they have. A pretty good damage I think so and but you might have a different opinion and then the Valkyries these things are really interesting they do splash damage so when they hit down with their giant axe it does splash damage and I think that's really cool the um, the wall breakers this was a big update for the wall breakers now the wall breakers they destroy um they have a bigger radius to destroy so a level 5 wall breaker would only target like this wall right here and then just destroy these two but now if you if it targets that one it'll destroy this one this one and this one so they have a greater area to destroy stuff and it will also destroy double wall so say here, if I attack this with a level 5 wall breaker, it would hurt this level 6 wall, but destroy this level 5 wall. So it does too thick now. So also, my clan, we're cynical thieves. We don't see level 60 requirement and level 5 archers. So that we instantly donate every time. So within 5 seconds of your request, your clan castle will be full, even if you have a level 5. Uh, for clan castle yeah making sure this is in the right position um so my future plans for this um, base is I wanna max out all of my wizard towers to s I mean not max out I'm sorry get them all to level 6 because I think wizard towers are one of the best defenses in the game and they do they protect resources very well because goblins can get in and then goblins can mass hordes of goblins can easily get destroyed by oh sorry that was my phone um, you probably didn't hear that but um so mass hordes of goblins can easily get destroyed by high level wizard towers and so that's why you want to upgrade your wizard towers pretty high at first and then your mortars are obviously also very important because they also do splash damage and they can hurt mass amounts of things also so that's pretty good just making sure this is the right amount of walls okay one too much um so I'm gonna put my spell factory right outside these walls right here so I'm trying to get the right amount of walls 
So once I do this, bring this wall around. And then you can I'm going to utilize the new thing, the new update by moving a, a big amount of walls right there to finish that up. And then I'm going to put my spell factory that I just got level 4. It's really cool, I think. The spell factory is at level 4 with the big spikes and the golden bowl. I love that. So, I think after I finally get all my walls to level 7, I'll work on getting my cannons and archer towers higher. Because I'm going to encounter P.E.K.K.A.s once I get really high. Well, P.E.K.K.A., P.E.K.K.A., whatever you call it. And once I get really high in the trophy count. So I'm going to need those arch towers and cannons and other things that do a lot of damage to P.E.K.K.A.s. Like hidden Teslas. I'm going to need those pretty high to get them to destroy the P.E.K.K.A.s when they come in and attack my base. And then my air defenses. Those are really low level. I'm going to really try and up those eventually. Because dragons, as you know, are really good. And the only thing that can really do a lot of damage to dragons is air defenses. Because archer towers, I mean, they can do some damage to dragons. But if you use dragons and giants, usually the archer tower will target the giants and not the dragons. So I'm going to, yeah, need to get those higher. And... Those are basically my plans for the upcoming weeks and months to in Clash of Clans. And then maybe around that time, once I get my arch towers and cannons to 10 and my walls to 7 and my mortars and wizard towers to 6, well, my mortars are already all six but once I get my wizard tower to six I might try and go for trophies but I'm not really too sure yet because I'm not sure if I want to totally max my base which would take forever except for the walls or just try and go for trophies and get high on the leaderboards and join a great trophy clan and just help out the community you know so and then right now I'm actually upgrading my archers to six in my laboratory. So my so I can't wait for those. It took at first it took it takes fourteen days for them to upgrade, but since I've been waiting almost a week now, I only have seven days and sixteen hours to go with those. And with my ten thousand three hundred dark elixir, I'm gonna upgrade my barbarian king. And try and get that to level 5 or level 10 pretty soon. And my Archer Queen, I'm going to upgrade my Dark Elixir storage at first. So that, my, so that I can get my Archer Queen and maybe level her up a few times. But that's going to be difficult since it takes so much Dark Elixir for each upgrade of the Archer Queen. And so yeah, in 5 hours 37 minutes, both of my Archer Towers will be finishing. So after they finish, it's gonna. I'm gonna upgrade. I, I mean, I'm gonna buy one dark elixir drill and upgrade one of my army camps to seven because I have so much elixir and I don't really know what to do with it because all my well because most of my troops are maxed, like my goblins, my barbarians, soon to be my archers, and those are really the only things that I use and I like to use. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end if you did. Well, you obviously did if you're still here. But thank you so much for your support. Please leave a like, comment, anything just to help me out. It's all really appreciated. So thanks so much for watching. And don't forget to subscribe. So peace.